Hello and assalamualaikum guys welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we are going to be learning about the data types we have learned in the previous tutorial that a variable can contain anything but what are the type of things that it can contain it can contain a text okay it can contain a number for example age 20 it can contain a double or a float for example um, a float a float is basically something with decimal point for example 25.36 it can also contain a boolean a boolean is something for example a boolean or we can say married a boolean is something which is either true or either false we also have other data types such as array data type and stuff but these are the most important ones for now we also have the last one I would like to tell you about is the null data type. Null basically checks whether something is uh, empty or not. So empty or not. Let's actually create a simple program. Let's say So basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to check whether this variable is string. Let us save this let us come back in here refresh this a string it says nothing when it says nothing it doesn't have any value which is basically it is saying that it is false but if we convert it into a string like this and now if you save this and come back in here refresh this it will tell us that it is string because one means yes and zero or nothing means no Similarly, we can also check whether its type is like integer by using int. We can also check it is it a null by saying null. -L. We can also check its uh, type by as you can see boolean array man and whatever. There are a lot of things in here. Is it long? Is it real? Basically, is and after that underscore and after that the type you want to check is a way of checking the type of a variable so i don't want to find the type i just want to know the type i don't want to find it manually by checking is a string is it integer is it null we, i want to get the value manually we can say echo the x type is okay then i can say dot get type and the type of which variable I want to get the type of the variable x so now it should tell us the 25s well means 25s type is string okay but why do we have this well basically because we added this let's check this out so 25s type is string so we can directly get the type or if we change the type now if we change it to 25.36 let us save this and come back in here let let us refresh this its type is double nothing big nothing hard this is really easy okay now the type of x is double right what i want to do is change the type i would say set type first we have to tell it the variable name set the type of variable x in which type do you want to set it or in which type do you want to convert it i'll convert it inside into let's say integer int and then i'm gonna just end this statement and now if we try to get the type again it will tell us that its type has become integer save this and let us come here and refresh this 25.36 type is double 25 now it has become 25 type is integer because if we come back we change the value now it has become what integer then we checked whether it's integer or not right so when something is integer its decimal points disappear that's why we don't see any decimal points and last actually let us put something in here echo then br break then save this come here refresh we have an error in here okay we didn't put the semicolon let us come back in here refresh 
so we have it on different nine but i hope you get the concept what is happening well there is another way of changing the type of variable without actually changing the type of variable what do i mean by that well let us see what we'll do we'll actually erase this we'll create a new variable called test and we'll say test equals the type integer and then i want to write the name of the variable that is x and then end the statement now what i'm going to do is i'm going to in here type test type of test and let us come back and refresh this what we see is 25 for 36 is a double and 25 type is integer nothing difference same thing but what is basically happening in here we are saying that this value 25 or 36 should be converted into integer and that new value should be gone to or should be saved or stored into the test variable now what we are doing is basically testing the type of the test variable and this x variable stays as it is its type doesn't change how can we know let us actually copy this statement again and let us paste it down so that we can conclude or see whether its type changes or not let us save this and come back in here and refresh this actually let us add br2 come here refresh now 25.36 value is double what happened is basically this values x uh, the variables x value wasn't changed a new value was created and it was stored in test the main value stays as it is okay and this method is called costing you can make it integer you can ask it to convert it into string and you can ask it to convert into boolean or um, let's say boolean when we convert it to boolean and refresh this it will become one ones well basically whatever the number you put after boolean or for boolean it will always consider it a boolean okay so if you have 25 in here it will be boolean if you have zero in here it will be boolean or whatever okay the last thing i wanted to discuss with you guys was constant we can say define means i'm declaring a constant i'm creating a constant a double quotes that constant's value is uh dob date of birth or dob capital b and its value is 1995 and let us end this now if i echo out echo my date of birth is dot dot d o b it is sensitive so you have to write it as it is written inside here and let us save this and refresh this so my date of birth is 1995 but if i want to change its value let's say let's say d o b equals 35 now if i refresh this i'll get an error uh, which is on line 4 so on line 4 there is an error simple so you cannot change this value because a constant can never or cannot be changed okay guys that was all and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye